welcome back to another new video i know you guys have been waiting for this particular Ooh, did i say you guys it's not everybody just few people okay some people have some has hey <laughs> english is hard though <laughs> so some of you have been asking me about um how to migrate to canada and today today guys this video is about canada right are you a registered nurse from this country so i'm about to list there is good news from canada for you guys nice. and the countries are united states of america united kingdom australia new zealand philippines india it's and our very own nigeria so if you are a nigerian or you know any nurse from nigeria please share this video with a person the amazing news is that a province in canada called nova scotia has opened its gates for foreign trained nurses from the seven countries i've mentioned to migrate into canada to come and practice so if this is something you are interested in you definitely need to keep watching this video nothing can stop me now This particular pathway I'm about to discuss became effective from 1st of May 2023. Due to the massive shortage of nurses and healthcare workers across the globe, all countries are now putting in measures to tackle this issue through net migration. And that is exactly what the Nova Scotia province in Canada is doing by allowing foreign trained nurses from the seven countries I mentioned earlier to migrate into their province, yeah, to come and practice safely. So without much ado, let's go straight into the eligibility criteria for this pathway. For you to be eligible for this particular pathway, you should be registered with the seven countries mentioned. And also, you should be in good standing with the necessary midwifery council in your country, all right? Number two on our list is evidence of registration. Right. And this stage, this particular stage involves you filling a form, okay? And the form is in two parts, okay? Part A and part B. Part A is for you, the individual. So you fill that aspect. When you are done, you now print out the form and then take it to your nurses and midwifery council. And they will now fill the part B. You and your regulatory body you are all done filling the form now the regulatory body in your country will now be responsible to send the form to nova scotia nurses midwifery organization that is handling this particular pathway so they can do that through mail they can send the the documents via mail or via courier okay and remember you are not the one going to send this document if you send it by yourself you will be rejected you will be rejected so when you are done filling the part a send the document to your organization or your regulatory body let them fill their parts they will now send the document to canada either through courier or through mail right so the third requirement here is criminal records or police clearance and in this particular uh, pathway unlike that of the uk when you are migrating from either ghana nigeria zimbabwe to uk and you are asked to do a police clearance you just go to a particular police office in your in your country and get it done this one is a little bit different. The um, organization handling this particular pathway have stated specific places or specific organizations where you can get the police check. So if you go contrary to this, you will be rejected. Okay, so they will give you, when you are filling the forms, they will give you the list of organizations where they want you to go have your criminal 
checks. Ladies and gentlemen, the fourth requirement here at IELTS, okay, the English language test or the English proficiency test, all right? And in this particular case, if you are from all the seven countries that they've mentioned, if you are from those countries mentioned, you don't need IELTS. That is what they stated. You do not need IELTS. So if you can prove that you were trained, your nursing education was in UK, was in US, was in Australia, New Zealand, India, Philippines, Nigeria, you don't need the IELTS. Also, if you are currently practicing in this particular countries, okay, if you are currently practicing um, in the countries listed, it means you've gone through their registration process. So you are now um, like nurse from that particular country. So let's say if you are in Zimbabwe, okay, and then you migrated to UK and you are currently practicing as a UK nurse, it means you are now on the UK register as, as a professional nurse, which means if you are applying for this particular pathway, you wouldn't need IELTS, right? So for instance, um, you are a nurse, you're currently a nurse practicing in um, uh, in Nigeria or you, you are a Nigerian nurse, okay? And you want to use this particular pathway. You don't need IELTS, that is what they said because Nigeria was part of the countries listed. Lucky you. <laughs> but then if you are a Nigerian, okay? But then your nurse's registration <laughs> wasn't in Nigeria. It was in Ghana. Let's say, you know, some we have some Nigerians who 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 moved to Ghana to go have their nursing training. Okay. So if that is the case, now your registration, your nursing registration is with Ghana, not Nigeria. It means you can't use this process, even though you are a Nigerian. You understand? So you are a Nigerian, but your nursing registration is from Ghana. And Ghana was not listed among the, um, the seven countries. So it means you can't use it. Okay. That is scenario number two. Yeah. Okay. Scenario number three. <laughs> scenario number three. So if you are a Ghanaian, okay. You are a Ghanaian now you are not part of this process but then you want to also go or travel to canada to go and practice using this particular pathway what you can do is probably here yeah, you can uh, pursue the uk process when you get to uk it means now you are registered with uk and then after some time you now apply for this pathway and then you can move to canada so if you are now moving to canada from uk you are moving as a registered nurse from uk not a registered nurse from ghana okay now the red listing is becoming tougher and tougher and you need to be smart if really you want to pursue this dream right <laughs> Oh yeah, guys, so um, the fifth requirement here is the NCLEX exams and they want you to take the NCLEX RN. I understand they have the NCLEX PN, that is for practical nurses in Canada. And then they have uh, NCLEX RN for registered nurses. So this pathway, they are only requiring um, NCLEX Aaron, <laughs> now that I've mentioned the examination, I know some of you are now sad. What, wait, why don't you like examination? See, this this program or this particular migration thing, you don't expect them to just say that, pack your bags and come and start practicing there. It's professional bodies. You can't just tell them that, yes, you are a nurse and they'll just accept it in good faith. You need to prove by doing something and one of the requirements is examination you taking the examination it's everywhere even the, the doctors also take their plab one plab two exams before they are they qualify to even practice in the united kingdom or other countries so don't be scared of the exams you will pass okay and the good news with this particular pathway is that even if you don't pass the endless 
at your first attempt. That is what they are saying. If you don't pass, you will be given a provisional license to practice for at least 12 months. Okay, this is good news. You you fail the exams, but they are giving you provisional license to come and practice in Canada. <laughs> so you go there, start working, and then whilst you are working, you will sit the exams again. Hopefully, you will pass, and then you will have your full license. And again, they are even saying that you have three attempts, like that of the UK process, okay, the OSCE. You have three attempts to sit it. If you pass, it's the third one that when you don't pass, then <laughs> oh boy, your village people, your village people are chasing you. So this one, that is it. You have to attempt the exams even just because you've attempted the exams has given you a chance to come and practice right so give it a try guys give it a final thing is the application fee okay the application fee and it's about 57 canadian dollars then they will take a decision and when they are happy with your documents and everything and you have also passed the exams or you fail the exams and they will take the decision and yeah they'll write to you to pack your luggages and come start practicing in canada so those of you who are interested in this pathway or those of you who have friends who are eager i have a particular friend she's been dying to go work in canada see lady canada has opened like this pathway there's another one for the province of alberta i'm still trying to um gather information because the first time that it was opened like that link has expired or something i tried going through the link and it wasn't successful probably they've now put a hold on that i'll still go through it and then if i get more information about alberta i'll bring that one also here so guys especially my nigerian so more you are the only african country here so make us proud now i was so excited to film this particular video today because it's amazing news for um for the foreign nurses all right ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching today's video and i hope you found value watching this and you are definitely going to share with your friends out there so that they can also give it a try make your own research guys make your own research and i will try as much as possible to put the link to this particular process application in the description box so that you can go and have a look thank you for watching and i'll see you again in another one don't forget to like share and subscribe okay